Hello there, beautiful one. I'm Faith Hunter, author and global wellness expert with over 20 years of experience sharing well-being approaches to elevate your lifestyle, your healing, and to support your spiritual and personal liberation, self-care, and love. Today, we are exploring the very profound energy of the super moon in Aquarius. This isn't just any full moon. It is, like I said, a super moon, which means the moon is a lot closer to the earth, appearing a lot larger, brighter, and more vibrant in the sky. Now, this amplified lunar energy offers us an even greater opportunity to embrace radical change, release, of course, what is no longer serving us, and what I'm feeling right now, stepping into our authentic selves. This super full moon in Aquarius kind of stirs the winds of change, and I think we're already seeing that in our political system, it also brings about a little innovation and collective consciousness with this added intensity, which is brought in by the supermoon. When the moon is closer to the earth, its gravitational pull is so much stronger, affecting both the tides of the ocean, but also the tides of our emotions. This supermoon will amplify the Aquarian themes of freedom, individuality, and breaking the chains and becoming free from the norms. It's a time to explore how we all can align our personal goals with the higher and greater good and contribute to the world in a much more equitable an inclusive and forward-thinking way. Aquarius, ruled by Uranus, is the sign of the visionary, the rebel, and the humanitarian. As this whole moon reaches its peak in Aquarius, it forms this amazing, harmonious, and beautiful aspect with Jupiter and Gemini amplifying our desire for knowledge, expansiveness, and open-mindedness. This particular alignment is also encouraging us to think outside the box, embrace those new perspectives, and seek out connections that inspire intellectual as well as spiritual growth. However, the super full moon also encourages us with the square to Uranus and Taurus. It is urging us to break free from limiting beliefs, outdated structures, mm -hmm, going back to that political thing, and anything that feels restrictive and stagnant. I must pause and say, once again, the political energy in the U.S., and in many other places around the world, has already been moving through this energy for a while. I know. I've been feeling it, and I'm kind of excited about it. Change is good. The tension between these energies may feel a little intense, as the super moon's proximity to the earth makes everything a little more palpable. But remember, this is an invitation to embrace the unexpected and trust in the process of transformation. Here are my three things that you should consider energetically as it relates to this full moon. Number one, embrace change and innovation. Aquarius energy is all about breaking free from the old and welcoming the new. And the super moon, again, magnifies this call. This, of course, is the perfect time to consider where you've been 
holding on to some outdated ideas, some habits, behaviors, beliefs, and relationships. I want you to ask yourself this. What radical changes are you ready to make in your life? How can you innovate your own approach to personal growth, to relationships, and also your career? Number two, connect with community. Aquarius is in the sign of the collective, and this super full moon highlights the importance of community as well as shared ideas. I want you to reflect on connections and look and see if these connections are nourishing and supporting, but also are they aligned with your personal values? Consider how you can also contribute to the well-being of your community or even maybe create some new networks that support your growth. Number three, release fear of the unknown. The square to Uranus in Taurus is intensified by this super moon, and it's going to bring about some change and a little uncertainty. But don't be afraid. It's definitely natural to feel some resistance when the ground beneath us is shifting, especially under this powerful influence of the supermoon. I invite you to use this time to release the fear of the unknown. I know it's hard, but I want you to trust in the universe's plan and remain open to a few surprises that are probably going to come our way, continuing to come our way in the month of August. Let's shift to letting go and releasing. Under the light of this full moon, it's essential, of course, like all full moons, to release anything that no longer aligns or supports your highest good. Aquarius energy, magnified by the supermoon, is encouraging us to detach from emotional weight and the situations that are keeping us stuck. Based on these energies that I'm feeling at this moment, here are some things that I plan on releasing, and there are also some recommendations for you as well. The first is limiting beliefs. Let's all identify and release any beliefs that are keeping us small and that are preventing us from pursuing our dreams. This super moon's intense energy will definitely help us amplify this release. So take advantage of the letting go aspect. I also want you to take note of outdated relationships. This definitely is the perfect time to let go of relationships that are no longer serving us, no longer supporting our personal and spiritual growth, but also no longer supporting our values. This full moon is definitely going to help us see a little bit clearer and help us release. Then we have the fear of being different. Together, let's embrace our uniqueness and use the releasing of fear and release, of course, the fear of standing out. Aquarius is reminding us that our identity is, our individuality is our greatest strength. So let's utilize this energy and stand tall. I want you to consider all of these things because August is the perfect time to do a little shadow work. Now, with all of that, I want you to pause for a moment. Take a deep breath because August is filled with a whole lot. Exhale. If you want a few journal prompts to support you, Simply click the link above 
or below to not only just read my blog about the full moon, which also includes prompts, some crystals that can support you, and a few other tips to help you navigate this changing energy, this shifting plane that we are all on. Now it's time for our guided meditation. Take a moment to find a comfortable seat or know that you can also rest on your back. Close your eyes or simply cast them down. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale with a big sigh. Oh. Seal your lips and simply inhale deeply in and out of your nose. And as you do, start to draw your energy and awareness and connect with this luminous, amplified full moon energy. Continue to breathe in and out and know that you are releasing in this moment tension, stress, and yes, fear. Allow the breath to flow smoothly in and out of your nose. Feel the energy of the super moon growing brighter and stronger within you. Let go of anything that feels heavy, that feels outdated, or no longer serves and supports your highest good. Bring your internal awareness right between your brow. And start to visualize yourself in a vast, open field under the night sky. This full moon in Aquarius shines brightly above you casting its intensified silver glow over the landscape and over your body. Feel a cool breeze of change upon your skin whispering a promise of new beginnings. In this beautiful space, you are free to be your truest self. You are free to express your individuality, to embrace the powerful changes that are coming your way, and to trust the journey ahead. I want you to see yourself releasing any burdens, any fears, 
and any doubts and feel them see them dissolve into the earth beneath you. With every single breath, you are feeling a little lighter, a little more expansive, and more aligned with your soul's purpose. As you stand in the light of this super full moon, I want you to absorb these affirmations. I release all that is no longer serving my highest good. I embrace change and trust in the unfolding of my unique path. I am a beacon of light shining brightly in my authenticity. Allow these affirmations to settle deep into your heart, knowing they are carrying that amplified energy of support, self-realization, authenticity, and growth. Now take a deep breath in, exhale empty out, feeling a little bit more grounded, more centered and more fully present within your heart. And whenever you're ready, start to bring a little organic movement into your body.
Allow yourself to drop back into this present moment, still feeling this sense of inner awareness and even connection to your divine wisdom. And as your eyes blink open, know that as we all move through the next few days, I invite you to harness the energy of radical transformation, deep connection, and the courage to be your authentic self. And remember, babe, you are a powerful creator. And with each step you take, you are shaping a life that reflects your truest essence. Thank you so much, of course, for joining me. And if this meditation and astrological insights resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to stay connected to more content like this to support your elevation, your healing, and your liberation. Until next time, stay spiritually fly. Ciao.